Thank you very much. I have rarely been behind an, uh, a podium where I feel like I need my Queen Elizabeth stool here, but you'll just have to imagine that you can see me over the top of this. <laughs> uh, my name is Kathleen Rasmussen. I'm the chair of the committee, and I'm pleased to welcome you here today. Uh, this workshop is titled Methods and Approaches to the Assessment of WIC Food Packages, and it's organized by the Institute of Medicine um, Food and Nutrition Board on behalf of the committee uh, to review the WIC food package. That's the committee I'm chairing. I'd like to thank you and the speakers for joining us today. We have a wonderful um, day of uh, talks planned. In your program, you should all have our statement of task. The, uh, this is the, the statement of task has several portions, and we finished the first portion in February with the release of our, a letter report to the USDA titled An Evaluation of White Potatoes in the Cash Value Voucher. Uh, this workshop is part of phase one of the project, and it's a data gathering activity. And the project completes after the release of the 2015 Dietary Guidelines, uh, sometime in uh, about a year later. I hope you're all familiar with the format of these workshops, but if you're not, there are some ground rules. Uh, participants attend as observers, and only the committee members and its consultants may ask questions. A note for the speakers, there's a timer up here. And when it turns uh, yellow, you have two minutes remaining. And when it turns red, you're done. Uh, we'll have a couple of minutes after each talk for questions, leaving the majority of questions for the panel. And each set of speakers will be followed by a panel when there'll be lots of time for you to ask your questions. Uh, with that, allow me to introduce Audrey Rowe, Administrator for the Food and Nutrition Service at the US Department of Agriculture. Ms. Rowe will provide some um, opening remarks on behalf of the Food and Nutrition Service, which is the sponsoring agency for this study. Ms. Rowe, please. Thank you. Good morning. You know, I did this a few days ago with, uh, I was at an elementary school and we were getting started. It was about the same time in the morning and I said good morning and I got about the same response. So I'll try it one more time. Good morning. good morning. All right, so now we're raring to go. Um, I am delighted to welcome you here today uh, to the workshop and to the kickoff of the second public meeting supporting the Institute of Medicine's comprehensive review of the WIC food package. Um, first, let me thank the committee for its excellent and timely work, which was really very important, on the letter report on white potatoes and the cash value voucher. As you know, this report was an important part of policy considerations, both at USDA and in the Congress. I am pleased that the panel was able to provide the evidence base to ensure that any policy change on potatoes or any other aspect of the WIC program was grounded in strong science. I look forward to future reports that we will receive as part of this review. Many, as you know, USDA is committed to the scientific review process of the WIC food package. It is imperative that WIC foods benefit, benefits be scientifically based since these benefits are intended to address the supplemental needs of WIC's pregnant, breastfeeding, and postpartum women, infants, and children. The 2005 IOM report, Time for a Change, was well received by the WIC community and USDA relied heavily on the science-based recommendations in updating the WIC food package. On behalf of FNS, I want to thank IOM's Food and Nutrition Board for once again bringing together some of the brightest scientific minds in the nation to provide science-based review, analysis, and recommendations for the WIC food package as we go forward. 
Over the past two decades, FNS has funded many IOM workshops and reports that have produced valuable information that we have been able to use in administering all of the federal assistance programs which we have responsibility for managing. Some of those reports included the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program examining the evidence to define benefit adequacy in 2013, and we may be coming back to you soon on that one again. Um, child care and adult food program aligning dietary guidance for all, which was a 2011 report. A, an important report which I find um, exceedingly useful as I am talking around the country, not only to parents and um, communities, but elected officials and members of Congress, which is the School Meals Building Blocks for Healthy Children's Report in 2009. Um, and then one other just to mention is the WIC Nutrition Risk Criteria, the assessment back in 1996. And we continue to think and look to you for help in, in, in as analyzing the scientific information to help us strengthen the 15 nutrition assistance programs that we have responsibility to manage. We know that as community members, you take on the task of providing your expertise on top of many other significant research and teaching responsibilities. And thus, we are very, very grateful for your dedication to help make WIC the best program that it can be. I'd like to take the opportunity to give special thanks to committee members that have served on multiple IOM committees. I mean, that clearly not only is commitment, but it's commitment of time, and we appreciate and would like to recognize you while you're here. Um, Alicia Caricuri, Alicia, thank you so much for all of your work. Alicia, for the public members, is a distinguished professor of liberal arts and sciences and a professor of statistics at Iowa State University and was a member of the review of the WIC Food Package 2015 to 2017 and the Child Care and Adult Food Package Aligning Dietary Guidelines for All for 2011. Uh, another member who is, we also share uh, some, uh, share membership in a church together in Chicago. Um, Angela Odom Young, uh, assistant professor in the Department of Kines Blech, Kinesiology and Nutrition. Angela, why did you have to have something that was so difficult for me to pronounce? <laughs> At the University of Illinois in Chicago, uh, the College of Applied Health Sciences and a member and, and an Institute of Health Research and Policy Fellow. She was a member of the review of the WIC Food Package 2015-17, the School Meals Building Blocks for Healthy Children 20, 2009, and the WIC Food Package, A Time for Change in 2005. Another former uh, colleague uh, from the great state of, well, now I'm torn, Connecticut, but Illinois is still, you know, it's still a home base. Um, uh, Charlene Russell Tucker, Charlene Russell Tucker, who is a Chief Operating Officer for the Connecticut State Department of Education, a member of the review panel for 2015 and 17, and the Child and Adult Care Program Aligning Dietary Guidelines for All 2011. And Gail Harrison, where's Gail? She's not here today. Well, Gail is a distinguished professor at the Department of Community Health Sciences at the University of California in Los Angeles. Uh, Helen Jensen, Helen is here today. Uh, professor of Economics at Iowa State University and a member of the review, Food Package Review for 2015 and 17, the Child Adult and Care Food Program Aligning Dietary Guidelines for All 2011, a member of the School Meals Building Blocks for Healthy Children 2009, and a member of the WIC Food Package Time for Change in 2005. Mary Kay Fox. Mary Kay Fox is a senior fellow and area leader for nutrition and policy research at Mathematica Policy Research. She was a member, she's a member of the 
review for 2015-17. She was a member of the Child and Adult Care Program Aligning Dietary Guidelines for All in 2011 and the School Meals Building Blocks for Healthy Children in 2009. Uh, Suzanne Murphy, Suzanne. Uh, Cancer Research Center of Hawaii, University of Hawaii, Honolulu. Um, she is the chair of the Child and Adult Care Food Program Aligning. She was a member, she was chaired the Child and Adult Food Care Program Aligning Dietary Guidelines for 2011, uh, School Meals Building Blocks 2009, and chaired the WIC Food Package Time for Change in 2005. And finally, Kathleen Rasmussen, who is chairing, is a professor of nutrition and the vision of Nash, Na, nutritional sciences at Cornell. She chairs and reviews, she is chairing the review of the WIC Food Package 2015-17 and a member of the WIC Nutrition Risk Criteria and Scientific Assessment. Thank you all, because that's a lot of time that many of you have spent looking at our programs and giving us the best advice, scientific advice and analysis and review so that we could develop policies that really make a difference for people. And so I really thank you in this particular program making a difference for women, infants and children. We look forward to today's workshop and tomorrow's public comments and to the remaining reports that will be produced by the committee as part of this comprehensive scientific review. We are here and we have staff here and I always take a, a moment to recognize the best staff in the federal government which is in FNS in our WIC program with all the WIC and uh, of FNS staff. Please stand. I see Jay, Rockef Jay Rockefeller. Jay, <laughs> Woo! Jay Hirschman. That's what happens when you live in West Virginia. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to our staff um, because they take all of the work that you do and they spend a great deal of time helping us think through the kinds of policy recommendations that we need to move forward um, and eventually, hopefully, are approved by the Congress of the United States and for the general public. I would like to now turn it over to Patsy Br Brannon, who will be moderating the first session. Patsy?